in May, May 18th of 2018, Thomas John was tested, double blind tested, and he was amazing, just amazing. He posted a video of it, and it is phenomenal. And then he woke up. So this video, which has been viewed 128,223 times, was posted May 18th, 2018 on his channel. And it says, I will show you what it says. We're not going to look at this right now, but I will show you what it says. Thomas John did a completely blind reading to demonstrate how a true psychic medium can connect with spirit and no information whatsoever on the sitter. In this video, Thomas reads a sitter chosen by a third party. The third party arranged the reading, which was done via Zoom. Thomas did, the, did not have the sitter's name, telephone number, email address, or any other information. The sitter uh, was not aware of who the medium would be. He's accomplished, blah, 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 blah. And note, comments are turned off what a coward coward i tell you so he put this video out i did write an article about it it's in this one called thomas john revisited from june 4th 2019 i will include this and a link to thomas john's video in the show notes for this if you want to go through all of them in detail but let's talk about this. Okay, so um, Thomas John wrote, let's put this so that I can read this better. He, let's see here. He made a Facebook Live video. I guess I should have pulled that up, but I didn't. It appears the video. Oh, it appears the oh, it appears the video was pulled down. Good thing I have a copy of the video. Okay, so I have a copy of this video somewhere. This Facebook Live where Thomas makes these statements. I quote: "Since my reputation is being attacked, I want to talk about what can't be attacked. There's a YouTube video online which I'm sure this woman, meaning me, will probably find and try to deconstruct and spend hours of her time doing." But anyways, that's fine. But there is a blind reading I did online. I told a woman very specific things. The realm of somebody Googled me. Somebody went on Facebook. Somebody called my mother. Well, that's all taken out because I didn't know anything about her. I didn't even know her first name. So that's taken out. So it was a blind reading. And then he says, I have a 95% accuracy rate. You know, if there's any kind of numbers involved, that's that's uh, like making a claim. We can check that, right? Okay, then he says, I go on to say categorically, no, I do not Google people. No, I do not research people. No, I do not go into people's obituaries. I do not go on to Ancestry.com. No, I do not go to the graveyards the night before the readings. All of this is nut job stuff. Oh, that's telling me. Then he goes on and he says, skeptics cannot run their own experiments, okay? They can't be sitters. We need unbiased testing as psychics. We need to be open to being tested. And I couldn't agree more. Let's, let, uh, the psychics should be open to being tested, right? All right, so let's start really quick first with the statement that he does not Google people. And then I'm going to spend hours on this. Well, I'm not going to spend hours on it. Um, so here's a screenshot from a video he did. It was a video that we had to purchase because it was one of his training videos for one of his mediums. In the video, just like I'm doing right now, I'm talking to you from my desktop. If I wanted to, I could show you, I could share a screen and go right to Google, and you would see everything that is on my screen, correct? That I had up. And if I type into Google something, then you're gonna see my past search 
search results. And if I shared my desktop or my email to you and I'm recording and I don't go back and remove that bit, then anybody watching the video later, like myself or my team, can just pause the video and see what was on his screen. And that's exactly what we did. <laughs> so this is a little blurry, but I have a better example for it. But I'm going to show you this really quick. Here's Thomas Don. Here he is talking blah, 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 blah about karma and Lord knows crystals. And I don't know what he was talking about at the time. And then he goes over to Google, sharing his desktop, and he starts typing. And it's hard to see right here. Like I said, it's really blurry. And I've written about this many times. It's in the article. Um, and I've done a video that shows this clip. So there's no, no problem with it. Google alert on his own name. And then it has these other people that he's Googled their obituaries. This is Holly Meiser obituary from Winnemannette, Illinois. Here's Phyllis Hubbery obituary, Racine, Wisconsin. And the newspaper it appears in. He's not psychic because otherwise he would have known I would be looking for this kind of stuff. Anyway, the video, should you be interested, is on my YouTube channel, the same one you're watching right now. And it is, pulling it up right now. Here we go. I'm not going to share. I'm not going to show you all of it. You can look this up. Here's what it looks like. It's called Seatbelt Psychic Thomas John Busted Again. Thomas John, whoops, busted. What are you looking at? What you're looking at? And the video, that's what the screenshot looks like. And I got the, my silly hat on. It was cold. It's back in the early days when I started this channel. And then it shows him on the screen talking, talk, you know, and then here comes his desktop. And so. You're such a good listener, Thomas. It makes me feel so special. You are. You are special. <laughs> okay. So that's. I will share that article. I will share that video video and I will share um, all this other information with you in the screen, in the box underneath this video, should you want to watch it. It's, it's interesting. So, okay. So Thomas John does this double blind reading demonstration. Okay. Is it a double bl blind reading Thomas John? Is it a demonstration? What is it? <laughs> And I'm multiple times, I mean, just over and over and over on his um, October 22nd. Oh, wait, no, that's that. That's my, I just made it. Today's October 22nd. Boy, on his, on his uh, social media, he starts sharing these posts. And I'll show you what this post looks like. And he, he's really badly wants people to watch this video and see his double blinded um, demonstration. Could you guys do me a favor? Could you click share on this link below so that it shares on your page? This will help people see the video. And it's about this double blind um, demonstration that he does. Okay, how a true psychic medium can connect with spirit with no information whatsoever of the sitter. So he shares that over and over and over and over at this post. I don't know if he's trying to get my attention to make sure I looked at that video. Like I said, he did that Facebook Live that he deleted saying, you know, that Susan Gerbeck is probably, good. well, he didn't say my name. He doesn't like to say my name anymore. One time he posted something and shared my, and did not share my name. And what ended up happening, all his followers are like, oh, how awful that these people are picking on you, these evil skeptics and blah, 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 blah. How dare somebody do this kind of thing? And what ended up happening, you know, he gets like a thousand comments but in time what happens is people his followers start figuring out who who he's talking about and then they go over and they say is it this person susan gerbeck and they start sharing my posts and they share the articles and they're like oh this person she looks really evil oh my gosh how awful but they're continuing to share the posts and mention who i am <laughs> and i'm watching this and then i start getting private messages from his fans saying oh my gosh i had no idea Oh my gosh, I'm reading your article now. Oh man, you know. So it's like, you know, Thomas Don, please share me more on your Facebook page. Please share my name or don't share my name. Your followers will figure it out. <laughs> oh man.
Okay, so let's do this video. Now, I'm not going to go into great depth on this video because I will explain in a minute. Let me pull it up here. So Thomas John, let me set this up. This is Brian Smith from Helping Parents Heal, which is one of those organizations of people who are made up of uh, parents who are going through great grief and they are they believe that um, that you should contact the dead uh, mediums will contact the dead and help you get over your grief. That's their thing is that sets them apart from a lot of the other grief groups is this one, at least this online one is is trying to um, uh, they think mediumship is going to help help out. So Thomas John is closely associated with this man at this time, Brian Smith, Brian Smith, I've talked to multiple times afterwards. He's now unfriended me because I kept calling him out to do something about this Thomas John character. And he's like, Oh no, man. Hey, I don't have anything to do with him anymore. I haven't worked for him for a couple of years, but remember I can still see Facebook under different uh, Facebook profiles and, you know, they think they're being smart. They don't understand that we are recording. We have all uh, kinds of, mo you know, I have many people doing this and they have, since they're not psychic, they don't know who we are. Now, Brian Smith is not psychic. He doesn't pretend to be psychic. He's just full on in the psychic world and you can read about him and his motivation of why he does that i'm not going to go into it right here okay i'm going to show you the beginning of this and then we'll talk okay that's all i'm going to do this is a zoom reading now they're on this zoom reading now listen to what they say and then let's talk about this all right we are recording um my name is Brian Smith, and with me today are Thomas John and Fran. And what we're doing today is an experiment, a demonstration, actually, of Thomas' ability. Uh, and I'm just here to facilitate, so I will not be taking part in the reading. Um, I'm just going to introduce you guys and, and let you go. But I do want to certify that uh, I was the one that chose the sitter. Uh, the sitter is unknown to Thomas. Thomas has had no contact with the sitter. Um, the sitter did not know who the medium was until just about five minutes ago when she signed onto the Zoom call. So there was no possibility of contact between the two of them. Uh, Fran is the sitter today. Fran has agreed to be recorded for this um, and agreed to allow us to use the recording again to demonstrate Thomas' ability. So with that, I'm going to step aside. I will not be participating. You guys do your thing. And then afterwards, Fran and I will talk. Okay, great. All right. Hello, Fran. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good. So, um, with um, um, so I'm. Ha um, have you? Yes or no? Have you ever had a reading ever before? Have you ever had any sort of reading at all? Yes, I have. So I am. Um, as Brian explained, I'm a medium. Um, I am also a psychic, and so I also do um, pick up things um, sometimes psychically as well. Um, but I'm really going to try to stay in the zone of mediumship, which will be really connecting with your loved ones and seeing, um, you know, messages that they have for you and, and, and guidance that they have for you. So I'm just, that's how I'm going to sort of um, try to do this, but I, I may sometimes slip into the psychic realm. And if I do, I'll try to, you know, kind of just, you can even kind of alert me about that and, <clears throat> and we'll go. I don't need to watch any more of that at all. Because what happens in that little clip that I gave you, which you can, which you maybe, since you're followers of this channel, and I hope that you are following this channel and you're participating in the community that we're developing, leave comments. I'm happy to answer all the comments I possibly can. And um, other people are able to share their feedback of what they hear. Okay. As I said, I'm going to put this up in the uh, description of this video that you're watching right now. But what I want you to notice is he knows her name and it's unusual. It's Fran, F-R-A-N, but he knows her name. She did not know who he was until five minutes before when she signed on and then she saw who the medium would be. Five minutes is an eternity in Thomas John's world, especially 
when he's extremely motivated to prove something, to show he's this is something he's got to get right. He's got five minutes. And that five minutes is more than enough time for him to find Fran and to find her grief, enough detail that he'll be able to repeat it back to her. And I know this because we did it. It's not hard. Brian Smith says, I am the one who chose this person. Thomas John doesn't know who she is, and she doesn't know who Thomas John is, but I chose her. So all we did is we went to we went to Brian Smith's Facebook page. I went to his friends list and I looked for the name. There's a little search thing that comes up in the friends list. You you can type in the word Fran. And Fran did not show up. But what I did is I clicked on, or maybe it's one of my team members. I don't remember. It's been so many so long, but one of us. Oh, my team. They went to Brian Smith's wife's page, which is linked to Brian Smith. We went to her page, clicked on friends, went to the search bar, typed in the word Fran. There she is. Boom. I mean, her picture even matches who she is. That was what? How long did it take me to explain it to you? That's how long it took. Then, then once we have her Facebook page, you just click on her Facebook page and there is all the grief. So it goes on to talk about how this woman is has a daughter who's died. She died during, I think, a surgery and um, she's suing and the mother is suing the doctors. There's newspaper articles. There's I think there's a GoFundMe. There's multiple things happening with this. And Thomas John just reads it all off to her because of course he did. So I didn't need to spend hours figuring this out. My team and I figured this out in minutes. But as I said, I'm not going to go into great depth and show you what he said, because you know, he just told her what, whatever, whatever was on her Facebook page. So when it's all over, Brian Smith asked her, what'd you think of all that? And she said, she was blown away. I have never been with a person that got everything right on every single thing. There's no way. And then Brian Smith says, okay, I'm going to get in touch with his wife's name so she can get the video to you of what we just did. As he says, I don't have your social media, but my wife does. So I'll, I'll get you this video of the recording we just did. That's it. It's so simple, you guys. So the video has been up for five years. He's got the comments turned off because he does not want anybody to challenge him. He doesn't want anybody to find the link to the article I wrote for Skeptical Inquirer with all the details in it. In June 4th, 2019, he doesn't want he doesn't want anybody to get that information in a place where somebody might find that article. This video you're watching right now, he absolutely positively 100% does not want anybody to, to see. If you put it on his Facebook page or anywhere like that, I'm sure you're just going to end up getting banned. Probably wants people to forget about it. No, it's a. it looks like a fine video for somebody who's not thinking about the five minutes he had. They say, there's no way he could find all that much information in five minutes. You're right. He'd only need like two. And Thomas John doesn't have to do it himself. No. He could have somebody sitting right here next to him, off screen. He could have two people sitting right here, off screen. And while, while Thomas John is killing time talking to her about, have you ever had a medium reading before? And here's how I work. I do this. And I, I try to stay within the mediumship range, but I might slip into the psychic range. And who knows? I might. 
Okay, so, and after Brian Smith mentions who he is, we're at seven or eight minutes before any any information is given to this, to the friend. All his friend does on his phone off to the side is do exactly what I just said. And then he just needs to put write it on a piece of paper in big, large letters, daughter, died in surgery, how old she was, what her name was, where it was, what year, doctors, swing doctors, whatever it is he tells her in the video. You guys can watch it. I, I'm not going to rewatch it. But whatever he tells her in the video, they just have to make those little, um, like I said, just a piece of paper, just, you know, maybe large letters uh, with a big Sharpie so that he can see it. Put it in front of him. So when Thomas John is doing the reading, he just says, um, I'm getting a daughter who's coming through. Her name sounds like, oh, it's this. And she was very young. And, and you know, he's just glancing down at the piece of paper. Or they could be sending it to him through Messenger if they're, if they're watching over Messenger. But I think it's more likely the person's in the room. Or Thomas John could have done it himself. This is not how scientific studies demonstrations double blinding works at all this is totally misunderstanding how something is studied or how a double blind reading is done N none of this makes any sense it's just sound scientific to convince people who are trying to find reasons to believe that he is in contact with their dead family members and they want to believe Sorry, gang. It wasn't some long two-hour investigation trying to figure this out. No. I just showed he Googles people. I showed you. Googles obituaries, even though he says he didn't. He never does. I never said he went to graveyards the night before reading. Come on now. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. I really, I really appreciate your support. I appreciate your comments. Um, I get so many wonderful comments from you guys. It keeps me going, keeps me doing more videos. And I am about to go away for a week to a conference called PsyCon in Las Vegas. And I probably will be away. And that's why I've been trying to get a lot of videos done so that you guys would have some, you know, here, here's stuff to watch. You can get caught up. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Um, for a couple of weeks and then I'm off to um, a conference in New Zealand skeptics conference in there and and lectures and then a conference in Australia and a couple lectures over there where I'll be talking about psychic mediums so we'll see how much information I'm able to get out there to this channel maybe I'll I'll get a video or two out these are things I've been wanting to do for a very long time so please subscribe please comment please like Please share. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys.